so cold. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Today is a date I don't know. December third. Today, today is December 3rd and it is officially winter. Jeff and I are just out going for a walk. I'm trying not to let it be an excuse to take um, walks outside because I really enjoy it. And I'm also trying really hard to get in 10,000 steps a day for health reasons. I also did a bulking update or a physique update. So I will roll those clips right now so you guys can see how I'm looking. I weigh 124 pounds right now, so I'm up two pounds from where I started, so I'm doing pretty good. Wow, you look good. Oh, Jeff thinks I look pretty good. I think you put some muscle on your butt. <laughs> trying to put, trying to grow my butt. So that is my life goal. Jeff and I are actually going to go to the gym tonight and I'm gonna film a glute workout, but I'm not just going to do like a voiceover. I'm actually going to take you through the workout with me and I'm going to give you some of my tips and some cues that I use in the gym. So I will see you when we get back from our walk. It's really cold though. This is Stephanie this is, interacting with Canadian nature. This is functional fitness. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look at the little... They're yeah, freaking they're, out. Hey, they're fighting. Oh, yeah. Hey, those are two women birds fighting. Three ducks are the males. Ornithology. <laughs> is that what you study? Birds. Oh, birds. okay. And we would not be in Canada if we didn't stop at Tim Hortons. Can you see that? This fancy Tim Hortons. This is a nice Maybe. one. Now playing. New peppermint mocha latte. We tried this donut here. It's actually a little bit underwhelming, but I think everything's good, so I still liked it. Hey, how are you? Take a small tea. Do you want one of these? Yeah, okay. and, I, and I'll also take a snowflake donut. What's <laughs> reaction? I didn't get any of this though. You need a bigger bite. <laughs> Are you doing a 15k challenge anytime? I'm so cold. It's so hard to move my mouth. <laughs> Let me try. I want to very badly. Wow. It's so much better with this in it. I think you should do it like in the new year. Make all the new year's resolutions mad. I know. Or live vicariously through you. Yeah. Get it with the cream cheese on the inside. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Yep. Jeff and I are back from our walk. After we went to Tim Hortons, I actually stopped at Safeway, which is a grocery store here. Picked up some food to make some lunch. And this is what Jeff and I are having. I made us turkey sandwich on these rolls here. And it has some cheese and some spring mix on there. And then there's also broccolini. So I had a lot of struggles, but I made this video public today. Building Shoulders with Science video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it already. I'll link it in the cards. It was a huge struggle because I just upgraded my Mac to the new High Sierra processing system, which really, really, really messes with Final Cut Pro. I've mentioned this before in a video that I use Final Cut Pro to do all my editing. You can see the editing process and it just took um, this new processing system just takes forever to render a video once it's done. If you wanted to see this video and it was late, I'm sorry and that was why. All right guys, so it is quite a bit later. I'm a little bit more put together. I decided to do my hair and I have my makeup done. I'm helping Jeff film a Hamstring Science Explained video tonight as well as doing my own workout and we're getting some B-roll for his how to last longer in bed <laughs> Science Explained video, so that's fun. Um, I changed my clothes. <laughs> I am wearing New leggings from, oh, you can't really see, you can't tell. I got these, uh, these are new leggings. And then this this top is from Athleta. It's like a mint green. And then they're good butt leggings. I'm not sure. This is my lighting guy, he's fired. <laughs> I'm about to have a little bit of pre-workout and then I'm gonna have a snack before I train. I'm going to do two scoops of Prolific which is a stimulant-based pre-workout. I'm gonna do two scoops of that. Also has L-citrulline in it, so it's good for a pump as well. Do I YouTube? No. Do two scoops of Prolific. I'm also gonna have my favorite protein, which if this is still available, you need to buy it because it's limited edition and once it's out, it's out. But this is by far my favorite flavor. It is the white chocolate mint. It's delicious. It tastes like peppermint bark, very good. And I'm gonna have some rice cakes after. 
Oopsies. This isn't the best camera. I have kind of a lo-fi YouTube setup. I just have a little Sony RX100, so the quality's, the quality's pretty good. But Jeff has a really nice Sony Alpha A6500, which I'll probably be using to get the gym clips tonight because I need to use the Rode mic, which can attach to it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna film some B-roll with Jeff, and we're gonna see you in the gym. So I'll see you soon. Got on my got, got on my leather jacket thriller. The show ain't nothing miller. Man, I'm a lady killer. Alright guys, so we're in the gym. I already did my warm-up. When I first come into the gym, I start off with a little bit of warm-up. Today I was on the stairmaster. And I did about like 10 minutes on the stairmaster and then I did a dynamic warm-up, which I do like leg swings side to side and then front and back. So you saw me doing that. And then I also do a pre-activation exercise with the slingshot hip circle, which I will play right now. So I just step side to side, trying to pre-activate my glutes. So when I jump into my first exercise, I already feel that mind-muscle connection with them. My first exercise for this session, this is a heavy strength focus day. So I'm doing heavy hip thrusts, but I'm not going too heavy today because for the purposes of showing you some tips and tricks and some cues that I have, I want to be able to actually do the weight, so I'm gonna jump into that. Got on my leather jacket thriller, the show ain't at the miller. Man, I'm a lady killer. If I want her, I'm a stiller. I promise I can make her fly away like caterpillars. So if you A few things that I like to do while I'm doing the barbell hip thrust is to make sure that my feet and my knees are at a 90 degree angle when I'm doing the hip thrust, and I'm also looking straight forward. I don't hang my head back. You want to keep your chin more or less tucked to your chest. Another thing that I like to do on my final set, I'll hold it at the top before I move on to the next exercise. So I kind of get that last bit of burn in my glutes. After I do the barbell hip thrust, I'm going to jump into the dumbbell Romanian deadlift. warm-up set so I was in the higher rep range the next one I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use a little bit heavier dumbbells and I'll work in the six to eight rep range but a few cues for this one I keep my feet about shoulder width apart and then I put a slight bend in my knee when I bend down I keep my spine straight and I keep my eyes on the floor and then I come up using my hamstrings and my glutes I do not rely on my lower back so don't hurt your lower back doing this Make sure you're feeling that connection with your hamstring. So now I'm gonna do a little bit heavier. Disappear just like poof, then she's gone. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys all know how to do this one. What I'm gonna show you is how I personally like to do it. I do what feels good in my glutes. And I'm gonna start pretty heavy because I'm working in the six to eight rep range, but since I'm pretty strong on this exercise, I am gonna start off pretty heavy. I can't stop it when I feel it coming on. When we chill, it starts with smoking something strong. Take her down and then she'll be the same. So that one, I keep my butt on the seat and I try to really focus on leaning a pretty far forward and I make that connection with my glutes and then I make sure that I push out with my knees. And then the other variation is taking your butt off of the seat and really trying to burn out your glutes. And this is another exercise that on the last rep of the last set, I will hold it. I'm gonna show you how I do it sitting up on the seat as well. And the last rep, when you hold it, it should burn a lot. And that's it for that one. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention, I always bring, especially when I'm doing barbell hip thrust, well, I always bring this, you guys have seen this in all my videos, it's a slingshot, it's the grippy kind, it has rubber on the inside, so it kind of grips onto your legs, it doesn't slide. I have mine in a size small medium, and I'll link it below, and then I also have my own pad that I got off Amazon, so I'll link this below as well. This one, you're gonna need a bunch of 
mimosa ball, which there's one conveniently right here. And I put it up against the wall. And a lot of you guys seem to hesitate with this one on my video where I explain this one. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you could just do it at home. I have no shame, so I'm gonna do it in the gym. What I like to do with this one is I like to do two sets, 20 to 30 reps, and I just pump it. And on my third set, I actually just hold it the whole time for like 60 seconds. So I'll show you how I do it with the, the rep count first. Keep your feet together so you look like a frog, hence the name. After my second like pumper with reps, I'll hold the last rep for 10 seconds. And now for the finisher, I'm just gonna hold it for 60 seconds. So the third set, just gonna hold it for a minute. So at the end of my workout on occasion, I will do a little bit of ab work. So I'll do hanging leg raises and I'll do about 10 to 15 reps of these, like three sets of 10 to 15 reps. And after that, I go home. So it's the last thing. She's on her, ain't hard to tell, she's smart as hell, that's on her Don't sleep because it's too easy, I'm out here robbing yawners, yeah Yo, every night I'm signing moves with Sharpie pants Cruise rambunctious rage until the party ends Catch me crashing open in the galleries with artsy friends Rich girls pull up, park the best flippers So that's gonna conclude this workout, I really hope that you liked it Let me know in the comments below if you prefer this more like in-person train with me style video Where I'm actually talking to you in the gym or if you just like a voiceover, if it seems more clear to you in a voiceover. But that's gonna finish up this workout. I'm gonna see you back at the house. What is going on guys? So it's actually a couple days later and as you can see, Jeff and I got our Christmas tree, so we are feeling the Christmas spirit. I'm currently sitting here finishing up the edit for this video, but I wanted to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to Skillshare for supporting this video. Skillshare is an amazing online learning resource that I recommend to anybody who's interested in maybe starting their own YouTube channel or just jumping into the world of social media in general. They have over 17,000 courses related to media, cinematography, photography, all the things that you need and all the things that are related to jumping into social media. I will typically recommend two courses that I found were really helpful to me. And the first one being learn how to edit using Final Cut Pro, which as you guys know, is the editing software that Jeff and I both use to edit all of our videos. And the second one, one is mobile photography basics for Instagram success. For those of you who wanna start posting really amazing pictures onto Instagram but don't have a professional camera, you can do it with just your cell phone. And a monthly plan for Skillshare starts at only $10 a month. However, Skillshare has kindly offered the first 500 people to click the first link in the description box to get two free months of unlimited access to all of those 17,000 courses, which is a pretty awesome deal. So make sure to take advantage of that first link in the description box. But as for now, Jeff and I are going to go to the gym and we're gonna enjoy the rest of the day. Please like the video if you liked it. Um, it'll let me know if you enjoy this sort of content from me and I'm interested to hear your feedback on how you feel about me uh, just kind of explaining things in the gym or if you guys just prefer me doing a voiceover. But I do have a lot of content coming your way so if you are new, please subscribe and please hit that notification bell so you know every single time I upload a video so you don't wanna miss the next one. And I'm gonna see you in a video very soon. Bye. Got, got on my leather jacket thriller. The show ain't nothing else.